Here goes Dorian lesson number two. So we talked about A minor seven and D seven, and how you have this second position of the key of G is your A minor Dorian main position. Now let's talk about if you've seen my other lesson on the five positions of G major. So it's very easy to extend what we learned here in this fifth fret area for the A minor seven to D seven progression kind of like a Santana Oye Como Va thing. It's very easy to go back and just say, all right, well, what were my positions of G? So the first position was this, right? But we also have this lower note. So we're gonna call this two, three, five, two, three, five, two, three, four, or two, four, five, two, four, five, three, five, two, three, five. Okay, so that's like the first position of G major, which this A minor Dorian thing is in G major. So all of the five positions of G all will work for this Oye, Oye Como Va type progression. And as if you remember, if you saw the other lesson, we talked about the notes that stand out. Like here's the A minor seven arpeggio. Here's the D seven arpeggio. talked about the standout notes being the seventh fret of the second string that that one is not in this other one's arpeggio at all and it also repeats itself here on the fourth fret of the D string so those are real standout notes when you get to the D7 chord it's like why he does that riff right that F sharp works with that D7 or that D chord however you want to play that now all we need to do for each position is find the F sharps and we can play the whole position and be jamming out but every now and again we can find an F sharp and drop that where that D7 lands. So look where your F sharps are here in this position. So it's good to know those. So then we can go up into the third position. And find the F sharps. There's one and there's one. We go up into the next position, fourth position. We want to find those F sharps. There's one, and there's the other one. And then we get up in the fifth position. We got an F sharp here. We got one here. We got one down here. So as you work in these different positions, to be able to move up and down the neck and play in a mode like this. And this, especially in the case of these two types of chords, if you can pinpoint that one special note and try to really not play it as much over the A minor, but use it a lot more in your phrasing when the D7 happens, then you're really gonna be able to pop the sound of that chord with that cool chord tone at the right time. So sometimes you avoid a note in order to make it more powerful when you do play it. That would be an example of the F sharp in this progression. Now, the more you've played the F sharp over these chords, you can start using it over the A minor too, but it's just, you got, it, it's good to know that it stands out on its own over that D7 chord. And that's part of playing over changes, understanding that where certain notes are gonna make the most effect type of thing. So the next, um, I'm gonna play these chords for you a little bit, and then you can kind of solo over that. But one thing to know is the other minor mode, Aeolian mode, which is gonna be one of the next lessons I do, it's really only a very small difference. It's one note. Instead of the F sharp being in the scale, it's an F in the scale. There's that F again instead of F sharp. That's the only difference between the Dorian mode and the Aeolian mode is that one note. It's the sixth note of the scale. It's like whether it's up or whether it's lower makes it uh, one or the other mode. So it's kind of as simple as that. Sometimes it's just one note and it's one chord. It's a little different. There's that note again, that F, as opposed to this with the F sharp. So here goes the chords for you to jam along with. Two, three, four. Here goes D7. You want to try to use that F sharp in there a little bit? might kind of avoid it a little bit over that one. Not that you have to, but you know.
so if you have any questions or comments, uh, let me know. Uh, let me know if you got something in mind you want me to teach about. I'd be happy to. Um, like and subscribe if you dig it. And I'm Damon Wood. We'll see you soon.